As we talked about before, the force on a charge is given by this general equation. But when the electric potential is created by a point charge, we know exactly what the gradient will be. In this case, we simply take the derivative of our electric potential equation and plug it into our force equation. When you do this, you end up with Coulomb's law. This law tells you the magnitude of the force between two charged particles, but you need the general equation to figure out the direction. So you've probably heard that opposites attract. Let's understand why. If I have a stationary negative charge and I place a small positive charge near it, which way will the force point on this positive charge? Well, we know that the negative ion is creating a negative potential. That means the gradient will point to the left. Now, let's plug this info into our original equation. We have a negative sign, a positive Q, and a gradient to the left. So with the negative on the left, we end up with a force that points to the right. So as you can see, positive charge will be attracted to the negative charge.